What was your favorite memory of the weekend before the winner announcement was made? Uh, there were really a lot of um, good memories, but I think probably the thing that I hold on to most from that weekend is um, they they kept pulling us out and lining us up to go out on stage to announce, and then they kept coming back and telling us, oh no, we don't have it yet, so we would have to go back. And we did this like three or four times, and it was it was starting to get pretty stressful. Like, you know, we were all pretty up, and then it was like, Jesus, when are, you know. So there was this moment when we were in the back, and we had taken this great group picture of all of us together from the top, and with this big, giant group hug. And Patty looked over at me, and, like, we both had pretty much the same look of distress on our faces at that time. And we just were both tearing up and, like, this is just too much. And we had this really amazing long hug and um that was probably the best moment of the whole weekend was that hug with then patty who was going to be my sash butch which was pretty badass so yeah okay okay what was the best part about being international miss boot black yeah the best part about being international miss boot black was I mean, actually, there there are two questions here, I think. There was the best part and the worst part. And I'm going to say, like, I'm just going to make it all, like, the best challenge of the year because I want to combine those two questions. And it was that while doing this thing, getting to go out and meet people everywhere and being away from my family and um, getting to have all of these great experiences but also having to, like, shift the time at home, uh, what I found was that it was like taking my whole life and putting it inside a crucible and lighting a fire under it. And it burned away to ash everything that wasn't working or, you know, anything that was extraneous, anything that one could use to hide behind. So then I was just left with the essential bits and there was no way to avoid what was working and what wasn't working. And, you know, there were beautiful moments and there were sad moments and relationships ended from that year and other things started from that year. And ultimately, I mean, it sounds like it's bad when you, like, don't have a sir anymore at the end of the year or whatnot, but ultimately it actually was, and I am a healthier, better person because of it. And so the best was also the most challenging. And that was the best thing about that year. What advice would you give to someone considering running for the title? If you can, do it. Let your community support that, support you. Like really feel all of the, the, the community that you live in. Take the support, feel the energy, take that energy, represent that energy, and have the best weekend. Be you, be the best you you can be, but be you, don't try to be somebody else and have fun and make the connections you can make and just experience it.